Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for the After Hours Gaming League Grand Finals of the B League. 80 teams from over 50 companies started battling four months ago. The top teams with many masters and grandmasters in the A League will be fighting on April 27th at Red Bull HQ, but now it's time for the two B League finalists, Twitch TV and Raytheon, to go to battle for the famous Day 9 No Prize. For any of you just tuning in or any of you watching on the archives, head on over to RedBullUSA.com slash After Hours Gaming League not only to watch all the action, but also to vote in one of the many polls leading up to that grand final of the After Hours Gaming League on April 27th. Today's poll is going to be which team has the best group photo. You can vote for Epic Systems with their notoriously epic swords and sun rays. Or you can even vote for Adobe's B-League, which has a ninja kicking an ultralisk in the head. Whoever you choose, the votes will also award them nothing but mere entertainment value. Because, ladies and gentlemen, the AHGL is about having fun! And it's time for fun to be had as we step into this first game between Titch TV and Raytheon! Spawning in the right position from Team Twitch, it is none other than the sport himself, golf. Down in the bottom left, it is none other than the man holding up the world himself, Atlas. If you think it's hard to micro and you have carpal tr tunnel, try to micro when you have the earth between your rippling shoulder blades. And if there's any errors that end up occurring, that is the only reason. Now, given that this is the B-League, there were some stipulations put on uh, to the After Hours Gaming League because the emphasis is on fun. Uh, anyone could enter into whatever league, given that there were certain things, like if they had mostly diamond players and up, were encouraged to join the A-League. If they did not have really any diamond players or up, they were encouraged to join the B-League. And many companies, in fact, opted to form two teams, an A and B league, to essentially partition all their players in a way that seems totally legit and fair and is not any sort of odd class hierarchy. It's not like the A team at Twitch doesn't sit with the B team at Twitch during lunch. They totally eat food together and bond. Atlas. Uh-oh. Oh, Atlas is trying to sneak a pylon into the base, and he cancels, and then he builds the forge. What is going on, Atlas? It looks like he is going to try to cannon rush somewhere. I don't know. I have no idea in the meantime. It looks like Golf amazingly is going to find the long-distance cannon rush. I don't believe it. He spots it. There it is. He knows something is amiss. He knows that something is remiss. If a cannon goes down, I will be the happiest man on the planet Earth. Build a cannon to defend the pylon against the incoming probes. Another pylon from Atlas. And there it is. Atlas from Team Raytheon. Going strong. Twitch TV is golf. Chrono boosting out a zealot. Oh, he's supply blocked. Oh, no. Golf needs to get that pylon down. Unsupply block himself. And there it is. Soon enough, this Chrono Boost will wear off. I'll have to use that other Chrono Boost saved up. No, he just cancels the Zealot. No Zealot needed. Gonna go straight for the gateway. Photon Cannon's being built at the Northern Expansion. And it looks like Golf is forced to try to assault the Southern Cannon. Another Cannon going down. Will Atlas lose this Cannon? Will he cancel it? Literally, I don't know. It could definitely be one of those two. <gasps> Thought my Starcraft was going to crash. Will he get the cancel off? Will he build another one? Will he get it off? No, oh, it goes up! And he gets, he gets one probe! And then they retreat. In the meantime, a Chrono Boosted Stalker. Atlas has not yet given up. Atlas is getting in there. He's going to try to create a wall. Oh, no! He gets bullied up against the geyser. He's been bullied to death. Atlas chrono boosting out. Probes. Needs more probes to continue this cannon rush. And now it looks like Twitch TV, having gone for the infamous two gate, two stalker. Cannon rush defense. The cannon's up at north. Not participating in the battle too, too much. Warp gate about halfway done. 
And I think that the death of Atlas is also about halfway done at this point. Twitch TV's golf, looking very strong. Looks like he might uh, try to commence an assault up on these northern cannons. Uh-oh, he's going to try to pick off the pylons, much like in a single-player mission, trying to eliminate the pylon and make sure there can be a no additional uh, powering on those uh, on those particular cannons. Golf might even begin a little backdoor cannon rushing of his own. Anything is possible in the B-League finals of the AHGL. Golf now moving down to the south side. Going to try to move on in there. A little chrono boost on that mothership core. There it is. It's gonna be getting in there. Atlas! Oh no! In the army tab! He doesn't have units! It's eight supply to nothing. Infinitely many more units from Golf. Who's swinging in Golf? Oh my god, it might get surrounded by all of these probes, but he's gonna try to micro his heart out. If he does get surrounded, then Atlas might live just a little bit longer. Cybernetics core is almost done. Oh my god, Stalkers two and three. Probes, microing forward, microing backward. Can he get anything out to defend the Mothership Core Spring in the GG? And Twitch TV has done it! Twitch TV has won game number one of the AHGL B League Finals. Who will they send out in game number two? Who will Raytheon send out in game number two? And it looks like, oh my god. It's going to be DJ Wheat from Twitch up against... Bubes from Raytheon. Stay tuned, because when we come back, it's going to be game number two of the HGLB League Finals.